So we'll go file import file. Grab that. Hit options. Take this to composition retain layer sizes. There we go. Okay. Now, instead of double clicking on this, which is going to take us into this nightmare, right? Mm -hmm. um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and go composition, new composition. And I'm going to change this to be 1920 by 1080, right? Normal, mm -hmm. normal sizes. And six seconds is fine. Everything else looks good. Okay. And we'll make our background color kind of just a light gray. Okay. So now we have this. Now what I'm going to do is I can come in here and I can look at these different assets, right? Mm -hmm. And for simplicity's sake, let's say that I want a cloud. Just drag a cloud in. So I've got a cloud. And I can put a house in here. Now we've got our mountain, our house, and our cloud. Okay, so I'm going to change this to uh, fits fine. So I'm going to zoom out just a touch, and I'm going to go from one view to four views. Okay, so now we see four different views, which doesn't make sense until we do this. Okay. So right over here, we need to take each of these things and turn them into a 3D asset just by clicking on this 3D box. So this guy is going to allow it to be 3D. Okay. Now the main thing that that does is now we see on the top and the side. It's just the top. We're just seeing this thin sliver because it's just a piece of paper. Oh, I got you. Right? Okay. And so now if I take, let's take this guy, and you see that now we have X, Y, and Z rotation. Okay, and position we have instead of just x, y, we have x, y, and z. Well, if everything is at zero, watch what happens over here when I change this zero. It moves forward or back. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move this forward. Okay, and then I'm going to come in to our house. I'll leave our house at zero. Come over here, hit P, and I'm going to move this back. Okay, and now we can adjust this to be on the side here, like this, and down, like that, okay. Okay, I'm just going to right click on the board, <laughs> I guess, that's what we'll do. I don't know why that's not in a menu. Okay, so then you create a camera. I'm sure that these mean stuff, but I don't know. So I usually just choose like a lens that I want to do. So this is going to be kind of a tighter shot and so I'm going to do a longer lens because that tightens it up a little bit and I click OK. Okay, Now we have, if we zoom out here, we have this little camera. Okay, and So you can see that and we can move it around and so if I come up here and I hit C, I can just move that camera around and so I can do two things. So let's, let's, uh, let's make our house a little bit smaller. So I'm going to grab our house this, hit S for scale, shrink it down just a little bit, okay, and then we'll go P for position, and we'll lower it so it's just down like this, okay, and then I'm going to take our cloud, and I'm going to go P for position, and I'm going to turn on changing this over time, hit V, so I can move this around, I'm just going to move this off. Let's go like, let's take three seconds, okay. and then we'll take this and we'll move it across. Yeah. So that's up. So we'll move it this way until we can kind of get that control. And now we can grab this guy and just move him across like that all the way. There we go. Okay, and now we have that. It just slowly floats across. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Now we want to move the camera as well. And so we have we have front, top, right. And so I'm going to grab our camera and I'm going to say B 
easy position. And I'm going to raise it up a little bit, and I'm going to tilt it down a little bit. Not too far. Actually, let's start. Let's start low. So we'll start low, tilt it up. We'll start even lower, just to make it exaggerated. Okay. And then we'll come over to three seconds here, and we'll move our camera up. High and tilt it down like this. And we will also, in that time, move it sideways. We'll take this, move it this way, come back, turn this that way, keep coming, not too far. There we go. Okay, and now when we look at it, I totally forgot to turn on the keyframes. No. <laughs> so we'll add a keyframe right there, and we'll come back to the beginning, and we'll just reset this so this goes. So we'll take this, move it that way, that's that way, and so this needs to go down. It's in and out. Zoom in. Down, down. This will go up, 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 up. Let's check to make sure that worked. Okay, so there's our tilt. Okay, and then we want it to go over here. We want it to go left like this. Like that. So there's our, there's our dolly shot. See, you, you can kind of just do that, right? You just move across it. We could make this like a super complicated arc if we want to grab this <laughs> and pull this out and then take our handlebars here and curve this path. And now it's going to like sweep around. So you can kind of just sweep things around like that. Huh. So if you had multiple layers, I can still come in here and say, give me my project assets and let's put in another mountain. And I'm going to turn that mountain 3D and I'm going to drop it into the background like that and move it over to the side. big. So everything that you put in these things have to be 3D or like if you want the ground to all be green like do you have do you just leave that stagnant or? Yeah so <clears throat> if you want the ground to be green that works a little bit different because then we're going to get into um, we are going to get into this. So I'll take this and I'll put it down okay and I want it to be 3D but this is actually not flat, right? Mm -hmm. It's not perpendic perpendicular to the camera, it's on the ground. And so what we need to do in this case is we'll take it, we'll change it to R, and I always just have to guess on which ones these do. Okay, so this mm -hmm. one, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees. And so then now it's flat. This so now it's flat, and then I just lower it to be on the ground plane, whatever okay. the ground plane is. And then you just take your scale and you just make it huge. Okay. And now anything will sit on the ground. Now the problem we have with this illustration is right here is the thing that is sitting on the ground is actually not flat. So I I just pretended that this was a thing and so when this is raised or lowered you'll see that that turret starts to disappear because oh. It's actually just the same 2D element. Mm -hmm. And so you, you would kind of mimic the ground plane with this. I'm like way too close. Um, but you just, you just have to be careful with things like that. So if I were doing this correctly, I would actually make this tower, this turret, or whatever, out of 
one to three different pieces, depending on how detailed I wanted it to be. And then I would just place that in front. You wouldn't use any gradients for this either? No, just because that's not the style that I was going for necessarily. Right. You know, and then I can turn on the sky, I can right click, and I can go to composition settings, and I can choose a color for the sky. And then I can say OK. And now we have our sky element. And then I can have clouds move across, I can have the sun move across the sky, you know, at any point in time I can click O and I can kind of move around this little shadow box that we hmm. built. And the, the idea is that you can come in and you can just make these camera moves and um, if you keyframe them it will just follow that camera move. And so the idea is that you can't move it too far in any particular direction or rotation because it'll break the illusion. Okay. Yeah. But if you just wanted, if you just want to do like a, if we wanted to do like a, like a pop-up book situation, you would just spread it out in Z space. If I select everything and we zoom in here, you can just see how each one of these is at a different Z space level. And so when we move our camera, oops, we move our camera across it, we get that parallax. Yeah. Yeah, so if we just had, let's just make a big deal like this, and then we'll just like cut a weird hole out of it. Weird hole. That's too high. Is that how you cut things? What tool are you using? I'm just using the pencil tool right now. I just did that because I wanted kind of an erratic edge. I always take the eraser and I'm like, I feel like there's a better way to do this. Yeah, there probably is. I don't know. There's always, <laughs> there's always a different way to do things. Yeah. So it's just Photoshop. Okay, right. so I'm going to take this like this and just cut this out. Okay, so that's cut out. And then let's get rid of this and we'll take this guy and we will make him kind of a blue, but like grayish. Okay. Then I'll make a copy of this, copy, paste in front, and let's just take this edge and we'll just kind of cut it up a little bit. So layers of the cave, kind of? Yeah. And they just make sure that they have different openings on each one. Okay, so let's take that, we'll just lock it real quick, and we'll take this one, and we'll change the color slightly. I just need to get rid of all these little things that I didn't cut out. All right. That's fine. All right. Then let's do one more. So we'll grab this one and we'll go copy paste in front. And we'll change the color to whatever. And then take my blob brush and I'll just kind of like add some bumps and things. This is the third layer? Yeah. Okay. Just kind of come in like this. Okay, like that. All right. So then grab that and this and combine all those together. There we go. Okay. So then I need to get rid of that. <laughs> So now we have, if we look at this, we've got three different layers, uh -huh. right? And so we just take each three, each one of these, and we put it on a different high-level layer. So we'll go up one bump, and we'll just go up this one, <laughs> like this, and like this, okay, and then we will. Like this, and we'll call it cave. There we go. Save. Okay. Uh, okay. Now we need to make like a cart. So let's bring this up. Nope. Oh, like this. Let's 
spent hours on this and you're just gonna go through the mail. Just watch. No, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> so I'm just gonna make kind of like. And something like, it was like the first of its kind to be like a swinging car that's not suspended. Mm -hmm. So that could be like another kind of motion thing, I guess. Yeah. Copy paste in front. And take this over like this. And then we'll just grab these two. We'll come off the page like that. And we'll make it a little bit brighter. And we'll flip it over here. Oops. Gotta get a whole object and flip it like that. There we go. Okay, and then we can just take this guy, copy paste him back. this over like that and we'll make that darker and now we're inside a cart <laughs> okay so then we take all of these really things the oops come back this one too take all these things put them on their own layer ah come on no, there we go it doesn't matter where our layers are at this point because we're so we'll call this the card layer. Okay. Okay, and we'll worry about the rest later. Okay, so we'll save this, and then we'll go back over here, and we'll go new composition. Okay, and then we'll go right click composition settings, and we want this to be very dark. Okay, like this. And then we'll go file import file. And we'll go to our desktop and we'll find our cave and we'll click options and we'll change it from footage to composition retain layer sizes and click OK. And now I have my cave layers. And I'm going to take my cart, put that down, and we will change the cart to be 3D. Lower it, hit S, scale it up. Now we're inside the cart. Okay, and then we'll take. So our with cube Illustrator layer. objects, almost everything has to be like a paper thing, or if it's like crazy complicated and. Um, um it doesn't have to be a paper thing. It's just just, like just kind of makes it a little bit easier. Right. But people do like make three D. I guess you can do three D things in Illustrator. Or at least you can in Photoshop, so I'm guessing Illustrator. Yeah. Yeah, you can, and you can also use, um, you can also create something in Photoshop or Illustrator um, and do, uh, you can wrap that around stuff. Oh, yeah. So you can, you can use it as a skin for things. Products and yeah. Those things. Okay, and then we're just so going to separate the these out. So we'll go. That. Now let's grab the next one and we'll go like that. And we'll grab it's like Space Mountain. The next one. Yeah. <laughs> the color is changing. We'll bring it forward like that. Obviously, you probably need more on the edges or whatever. Uh -huh. Okay. And I do want to make these a little bit more separated. What is this? Oh, that's our cart. We need our cart to be in the front. So we'll cart all the way in the front and up. So with that we'll have to move him with the camera. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you'd have to move that with the camera, which means that we would um, actually parent that to the camera. Is there a way you can get it to like snap? To, like I was trying to get something to like be the exact same, like with the basketball, I can't, I think, can't remember what it was. But like it, I had to like zoom in really close because it was just like a hair off or something. Um, I'm not sure what okay. you mean. Let me start to think and do this at the same time. <laughs> so I'm gonna go wide with this. So we have a really short throw. Okay. And then I'm gonna come out and in. But notice how it looks like we're traveling through. Yeah, that's the sweet. cave. Yeah. So now all we have to do is you just grab like this. And then I'm going to take over here, 
I'm going to take my cart and I'm going to parent the cart to the camera. Oh, yeah, okay. Right? And so now when we move our camera, the cart moves with us. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> And so, and you could totally make this like a really bumpy ride. So we can come over here like this, and we'll set a keyframe. So we'll go uh, position, and let's go rotation as well. Okay, let's just set keyframes for everything. Okay, then <laughs> keyframes for everyone. All kinds of keyframes. There we go. So keyframes and everything. So we'll start here. Let's see what happens when we move it. Uh, so let's take let's take two seconds, and we'll go forward in that two seconds. So we'll come so over. So what letters mean seconds? Because I'm guessing the F means frames. F means frames, yeah. But how do you know where the one and two seconds is when you're super zoomed in? It's like this. So it's three colon zero zero F. F. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that brings us that brings us through, and our cart comes with us, and now we want to like tilt down. So why does it switch? What just happened there? Oh, because I haven't moved it. my, I haven't moved this. Um, this is my focal point, so that needs to move with us as well. And I'm gonna have it go down and then up. So I'll come back. So that'll go. Yeah. So right here, let's move this up like this, and we'll stretch that out. So you're coming over. Right, and so this will look like we're going up and then down and then through. That's cool. So over here, we'll just move the rest of this. So remind me, get, this is the overhead view or the side view? So this is the top view. Okay. This is the side view. Okay. This is the active camera. And this is kind of like what you'd see if you didn't have a camera. Okay. Right. And so if we got this at the beginning to start looping, like to start in the gray, uh -huh. then this would this would infinitely loop. Right. And so you can kind of do that, or we can even come in here like this, and like at some point we can just turn this to the right. So you could totally you could totally just come through a cave like that. 